Hey everybody, just a quick uh, showing of my 2010 AT-AT um, Legacy 24 inch um, at, at Just wanted to show that the electronics were working. Uh, this is, I just did a review last couple weeks ago. <clears throat> that one's moved on and this is our second. We have one other one. Um, but that's my son's, so I don't think he'll be parting with that one anytime soon. <clears throat> I wanted to show the vehicle, and this is really, truly, a, in my opinion, a playset because just of how many places and pegs, as you can see inside, places to put troopers or figures for that matter. So we've had a lot of fun with this one. Um, as you can see, the these drop down and they have a foot peg place to hold on to then manually these ones move manually I guess I'm gonna lose a few of my guys move this up here see the guys come up same case for the for the other side obviously and then underneath here there's a door that opens up the hook comes down see there the middle one though has a button in here See there, the white button, you push it. So, and then obviously these doors shut. This little one here opens up right on the back. Has all four of the braces for the legs. See a lot of those that <clears throat> they're missing them. That could be kind of a pain. So it has all four. There's a speeder bike that goes in here. We don't have it for this one. Very hard to come by. Usually those are pretty. Pretty good um, piece, but I've noticed that when you hit it, there's a button here. A lot of times, the speeder bike would just fly off, so I think that's why a lot of them are missing them. That's been my experience with the speeder bike. My son likes to uh, put, put guys on here and have them fling off. Thinks it's funny. Anyways, that's the back end. Another window in there. And again, obviously, this shuts down. Again, this is truly a playset because of the just amount of pegs. My troopers don't have holes in them. For some reason, that set didn't have it. I got a gentleman in here. So there's electronics in here, and I'll show you some more of the light on this side. Electronics kind of <clears throat> will go off throughout the period to turn it to the first button. Shut that down. We got also three buttons on the top here. Um, 
I'll do the walking noise. Sorry, that's the cannon. I did notice on the new, the new one coming out, there is some ad uh in the, in the trailer, and there's that unmistakable cannon noise that it makes. You can, a lot of electronics keep going even after you push the button. So you got that on the top, um, the underneath. And then to the front, you have your canopy there. Shut down. The Vader's kind of tall, so it's, it's hitting the top of his head. It's hitting the, hitting that. So usually there's no problem shutting it. Vader's heads in there. There we go. So anyways, um, everybody kind of remembers that iconic view from the movie. And then if you hit the, the third button, probably the first button I mean. In these cannons. Okay, just turn around. So open this back up. Vader in there. <laughs> oh, my son, he, he thinks he's funny. Rebel forces in range. Forward deflectors at full power. Red lights. I've reached the main power generators. All troops will debark for ground assault. Don't fail me. Prepare to target the main generator. Primary guns charged and ready. There's the AT-AT 2010 Legacy. Um, I think this may be the largest toy they've ever made. So there you have it. Hope you enjoy it. Any questions, uh, go ahead and send me a message. Okay, thanks.